Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to do a train with me, which is where I take you through an average day training with Spud. Um, as you can see, he's a really over-enthusiastic fella at the start of training, um, and he usually has sort of difficulty remembering what individual commands mean and what I'm asking for. Um, he tends to give me a sort of bunch of stuff, or he sort of just throws his legs around. Um, but then once I've sort of explained the question a bit more and we go through it a couple of times, he starts to remember. It's sort of like his brain is refreshed. Um, and then he can understand and remember the tricks and then perform them. As you can see with his lefts and rights here, um, he starts very keen. But as he remembers what he's supposed to be doing, he can focus that enthusiasm onto doing it right. And then I can ask for things in sequence like I'm doing now, um, and he does them correctly. The same problems with enthusiasm start as soon as I ask for another trick. Here he's supposed to be sitting and placing his paws on my hips, but as you can see, he starts to bounce about. Um, the enthusiasm is brilliant, but it does need to be harnessed, which then allows me to then work with him for the better, to get the correct tricks, like he's doing now. Whippet type dogs are always described as the ADHD of the dog world and this is why in a training session he is so easily distracted that oftentimes the best thing to do is just let them have their moment and then you can return to working once their attention is back. Getting Sputnik to perform tricks over me was initially very hard to teach as I wasn't in a great position to direct him whilst lying on the floor. It took a great deal of intelligence and thinking on his part to solve what the heck I was asking for. But it does mean that now he uses his own brain whilst trick training, not just waiting for my cues. That's the end of our morning indoor session. I see it as a refreshment session of tricks that we already know. Um, the hard working then begins later when we move outdoors into the midday session where we work on drive and disc skills. Uh, outside training is even harder for Spud as the distractions increase by 100%. So the games must be more high energy and even more rewarding for him. At this stage in training it doesn't matter if he goes off to have a look at something as long as he eventually drops the disc and returns to me. It doesn't matter how long it takes him as long as he does it. What you're seeing here is me throwing rollers for Spud. This increases his drive for a disc without it being too demoralising if he doesn't actually catch it. This encourages that naturally strong chase instinct in him and makes flying discs even more appealing. As you can see, he's still not prone to getting distracted, but it doesn't matter as long as he eventually drops the disc and returns to me. throwing discs. Spud is not actually at the stage yet where he is consistently catching flying discs. This game aims to encourage that but for now what I'm asking for is a drive in the direction of the flying disc and for that he is rewarded. Over time as he develops his bike catch instinct he can match that up with his high natural chase drive and will be consistently catching discs. But this session isn't about that. That will come later. As you can see on presentation of the final disc, he loses interest completely. This is because he has got to the point where he is tired, so I do not throw the disc and we end the session there so that it ends on the positive drive of him going for the previous disc. So we start the final session continuing with things that we did in the morning and at midday. For example here we're doing our spin sequences. Um, and later you'll see him driving for the rolling discs, as we did before. Initially, I had hoped to do some vaulting practices with the discs, but due to the wet ground, it wasn't really safe to do so. 
So we return to working on the drive exercise for thrown discs and then we combine that with our catch exercises uh, with the aim of him catching discs more consistently. And the result of those two exercises being combined is a lurcher who can actually catch a flying disc. So we ended it on a positive note as per usual. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it. Um, thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. Please remember that I'm not a trainer and I don't pretend to be. This is just a bit of a talk through of what I do when I work with Spud and why I've done these things. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.